Hello everybody and thank you, Shia Shia, for joining Ulster University and the Confucius Institute to celebrate the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Ox. It's a rather different celebration this year because our performers haven't been able to travel. But the bonus is that we get to see three wonderful troops instead of just one. So to get our gala underway, would you please welcome, first of all, the Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Ulster University, Professor Cathy gormley Heenan. On behalf of Ulster University, welcome to a very different celebration of Chinese New Year. Now, before I begin, I want to express my heartfelt thanks to the Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Belfast, Belfast City Council, the Department of Education, Northern Ireland's Executive Office, and also the Newry, Mourn and Down District Council, who have very kindly sponsored our New Year's celebrations today. I'd also like to highlight and show our gratitude to the Consulate General for the extremely thoughtful and generous donations of PPE that have been provided to the university. Thank you so much. In today's event, we're going to enjoy recorded performances and messages from our friends here in Northern Ireland and also in China. And to say that 2020 was a challenging year is both an understatement and a statement of the obvious. At this point last year, when I was introducing Chinese New Year celebrations for 2020, we weren't even close to understanding what was coming down on the horizon. In our daily lives, we've had to confront so many problems and issues that we couldn't have foreseen a year ago. But despite that, in less than a year, our scientists have come together across the world to create, to test and to prepare enough vaccines to bring the COVID-19 virus under control. And in time, I hope we can take stock of all of our achievements individually and collectively in confronting all of these challenges. I'm sorry to say that this year we've been unable to celebrate the poster competition as we had to postpone the submission date due to school closures. However, the winners will be decided in early March and I want to pay tribute to everyone in our Confucius Classroom Network who have continued to support the programme over the last year. We've had so many requests from so many students whose studies were impacted last year and they've been anxious to resume their lessons online so that they could sit their YCT and HSK tests. And many of our schools asked if the poster competition could be delayed to allow their students enough time to submit. We've been really touched and encouraged by the support. So thank you to all of our staff, our students, our parents and our guardians. Now 2021 is the year of the ox. It's the second animal on the Chinese lunar calendar and it's a special one for me as I was born in the year of the ox. Uh, the ox is known for its diligence, its dependability, its strength and determination, and for having great patience and a desire to make progress. And oxes achieve their goals by consistent effort. And it's that effort that we really need now to get us over the line. So to help us celebrate today, we're very fortunate indeed to have the specially recorded performances from the extremely talented Nanjing Little Red Flower Art Troupe. We've been really lucky to have received the troupe in Belfast on two previous Chinese New Year events, and it's their reputation and their very lasting impact of their previous visits here that prompted us to invite them to our 2021 celebration. Hubei Normal University, located in Huanxi, the second largest city in Hubei province, is our Confucius Institute's partner university in China. And today we will be entertained by two specially recorded performances from their highly talented staff and students, depicting a range of dances from the rich ethnic diversity of China. We will also be treated to the awe-inspiring spectacle provided by the Han Shongxin Shaoling Martial Arts College, who have been involved in the opening and closing ceremonies of the Olympic Games in many years. To close, I want to say that this year has been very different for the Ulster's Confucius Institute, as I'm sure you can imagine. Normally, our programmes operate with a staff of up to 50 teachers and volunteer teachers from China. And this year, we've been operating with a skeleton staff due to the restrictions. Now, despite this, we have managed to ensure that where possible, Chinese language and culture lessons have continued. So I want to thank those teachers who have lived for the last few months with us so far from home, largely in isolation. Thanks for your diligence, your courage, 
and your determination to keep the lessons going as best as you can. Shia Shia. Thanks must also go to the hub school managers who have worked tirelessly with their partner schools to continue the programme. Our hub schools are the backbone of the Confucius Institute and many people go above and beyond to ensure that the Chinese teachers do not feel cut off and alone. And we are so grateful and thankful for your continued dedication to the programme. Thank you. So without further ado, can I wish all of you a happy Chinese New Year of the Ox. My wish for 2021 is that it's filled with healing and restoration for all of us and that we continue to build bridges and to learn from these very challenging times. So Shia Shia, thank you. And Xin Yin Kwai Le, Happy New Year. Professor Gormley Heenan, Kathy, thank you very much indeed. Well, now it's my very great pleasure to introduce the Chinese Consul General here in Northern Ireland. Welcome to Madame Zhong Meifeng. Dear friends, colleagues and associates in Northern Ireland, it's really my great honour to join you in the celebration of Chinese Lunar New Year. According to Chinese Zodiac, this year is the year of the ox, which symbolises diligence, perseverance, hard work and harvest. May I wish you all a most happy, healthy and prosperous year of the ox. In 2020, coronavirus ran rapid across the world, posing life threats for all. Under the leadership of the Chinese Communist Party, we were able to win the fight against the coronavirus and became the first major economic entity to achieve social and economic recovery and achieved 2.3% of the annual economic growth rate. We also contributed significantly to the international collaboration of tackling the COVID-19 and in building the community of shared public health for all. There were many touching examples of supporting each other between China and Northern Ireland. One of them was the Melbourne primary school students who sang the song called Let the World Be Full of Love in Mandarin. It was arranged by the Confucius Institute of the Ulster University. We clearly remembered China Jiao, Wuhan Jiao, really touched the hearts of hundreds of millions of Chinese. Ever since the establishment of the Confucius Institute in the year 2012, Confucius Institute of the Ulster University has made huge efforts. It contributed significantly in making Chinese culture and heritage known to the people of Northern Ireland. Each year, it hosts many cultural activities and events, among which is the celebration of Chinese Lunar New Year. It always amazes me how the Chinese Lunar New Year is celebrated in schools, business, and communities, and I'm so proud to be part of it. Over the years, Confucius Institute has become such an important window showcasing Chinese culture, Chinese heritage, and so on, and also has become a major platform of promoting the people-to-people -people exchanges and cooperation between China and Northern Ireland. We wish to take this opportunity to congratulate the Confucius Institute of Ulster University for its significant contributions that it has made over the years in the promotion of Chinese culture. And also our sincere appreciation also goes to Northern Ireland Executive Office, Department of Education, uh, city councils including Belfast, Newry, and so on. 2021 is an important year for China as we are celebrating the centenary anniversary of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. The Chinese consulate will hold a series of events, the aim of which is to further deepen the friendship and mutual understanding between the peoples of China and Northern Ireland. We will also work hard to further explore the mutually beneficial cooperation in the fields of economy, trade, education, culture, and so on and so forth, so as to usher in a new chapter of great friendship and mutually beneficial cooperation between the peoples of China and Northern Ireland. Madam Zhang, thank you very much. Xie Xie. 
Now uh, to our first three performances. The first is The Adventure of Shadow Play. It's performed by students from Nanjing Little Red Flower Dance Troupe. The dance portrays an innocent little girl passionate about shadow play. After her tireless effort, she finally dances the perfect dance with the shadow puppet in her dream. Our second performance is Zen. It's performed by students from Sungshen Shaolin Ushu College. Zen is a spiritual practice in Chinese Buddhist culture. It's not only a technical practice, but it's also a method of cultivating the mind. Probably all need that at the moment, don't we? Uh, it helps the practitioners to improve their physical and internal strength, as well as their moral spirit. And our third performance in this section is by students from Hubei Normal University, the Mongolian dance, Dai Xin. It features gentle and rhythmic music. A group of energetic Mongolian young men come onto the stage, gently accompanied by a piece of unique and charming music. They're dancing with their hearts and their movements are gentle and vigorous, fully demonstrating the bold and heroic Mongolian people's ability to sing and to dance.
wonderful wasn't it and we've lots more to come I'm very pleased to say now I'd like to ask Dr Andrew McCormick to say a few words Andrew is director general of international relations at the executive office and has traveled to China many times Andrew hello everyone thank you for the opportunity to meet with you all today even though it's a virtual meeting it's very important that we maintain the connections and our relationships particularly at this challenging time. I hope all our friends in the Confucius Institute and in the Chinese community here are keeping safe and well. The Chinese New Year celebration is an important annual event for us and is the opportunity to celebrate our relationship with our partner organizations and our friends in China. The Confucius Institute has been a tremendous help to us over the years in developing that mutually beneficial relationship and I look forward to working with you this year to help our organizations get ready for doing business with China. Happy New Year, everybody. Xin Yang Kuale. Thank you. Andrew, thank you very much. Uh, it's a great pleasure that the Lord Mayor of Belfast has been able to join our celebrations today. Would you please welcome Alderman Frank McCubrey? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, ni hai. Hello everyone, I'm Alderman Frank McCubrey, the Lord Mayor of the city of Belfast, sister city of Shanghai in China. It is an honour to join you here today to celebrate the Chinese New Year of the Ox. The Ox represents hard work, positivity and honesty. And after a difficult year, we look forward with optimism to deepening our long-standing relationships within and between our communities and, of course, health and happiness. The Chinese community in Northern Ireland is one of the biggest 
and most established minority communities, playing a huge role in the economic, educational, cultural and social life of the city since first arriving in the early 1960s. The strong work, work ethic and diversity of talent has added to the richness and creativity of Belfast and the links forged have opened up opportunities and markets in other parts of the world. It gives me great pleasure to see Belfast's growing diversity of communities share this festival and celebrate in your culture, albeit virtually this year. Belfast City Council has been engaged with China since the late 1990s, and more recently, through our sister city relationship with Shangling, developing businesses, tourism, educational and civic relationships. The Confucius Institute at Ulster University continues to forge important connections with China's business and education sectors and promotes the Chinese language and culture in schools across Northern Ireland. Invest NI's annual international trade mission program seeks business, investment and research opportunities in world markets including China. The Queen's University continues to cooperate with China in many sectors and of course in the exchange of students and staff. The city is delighted to have the opportunity to work with the Chinese Welfare Association which promotes and supports the Chinese community throughout Belfast and Northern Ireland enabling the community to realise its potential and to strengthen links between the city and China. The city is also very grateful to the association, the Chinese Chamber of Commerce and many in the Chinese community for raising considerable funds for the NHS during the pandemic. Your efforts are truly appreciated. I want to thank our friends in the Chinese consulate and colleagues in the Confucius Institute, Queen's and Ulster Universities, the Chinese Welfare Association, the Chinese Chamber, and indeed all who work so hard to enrich our communities here in Belfast. As a city, we place great value on the contribution that our long-standing Chinese community brings to our city and region on a cultural, business, educational and community level. I hope that wherever you're celebrating Chinese New Year, that you do so with great joy, pride, colour, hope. And I hope that the next time that we gather to celebrate this great occasion, that we can do it so in person. I wish you every success with your event and look forward to our continued work and friendship with you all for many years to come. Xie Xie, thank you and Happy New Year. Lord Mayor, thank you very much indeed. Well, now to our fourth performance, Mighty Kung Fu, performed by students from Sung Shen, Shaolin, Ushu. There's a famous saying in China, Shaolin is the home of all types of Kung Fu. Shaolin Kung Fu is vast and profound. There are more than 700 forms of martial arts. Shaolin Kung Fu originated from the Shaolin Temple in Sung Shen Mountain and has become a well-known and valuable heritage of Chinese culture. The performance, Mighty Kung Fu, combines Shaolin boxing, stick fighting, knife fighting, sword fighting and other forms of martial arts, fully demonstrating the charm of Shaolin Kung Fu. Our fifth performance, Love of Pamir, performed by students from Hubei Normal University. Love of Pamir is a dance of the Tajiks of the Pamir Plateau in Xinjiang. A group of beautiful Tajik girls wearing red dresses dance to dynamic folk music. The Tajiks regard the eagle as their national totem. And these beautiful girls are using their bodies to imitate the eagle soaring in the vast sky, highlighting their emotional attachment to their hometown and their endless admiration for the beauty of nature. And our sixth performance, Plucked String Ensemble Music, Reminiscence of Southern China. It's performed by students from Nanjing Little Red Flower Art Troupe. The music is based on Wu Shi Minor and Suzhou Piung Tan. The lively tone and rich rhythm reflect the poetic imagery of Southern China. <laughs>
Now we've heard today of the amazing numbers of school children here who've been learning both Mandarin and about Chinese culture. Well, let's hear now from Sam Dempster, who's head of the curriculum and assessment team at the Department of Education. Hello, or should I say, Ni Hao. I do hope I've managed to pronounce that properly. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Ulster University and the Confucius Institute for inviting me to take part in this online event. It is a great honour to be asked to record this message. I know that the Chinese New Year begins today and the celebrations will herald the start of the Year of the Ox. I understand the ox is the second animal on the Chinese lunar calendar and occupies the second position in the Chinese zodiac. Some of the characteristics associated with the ox are strength, determination and a desire to make progress and the ability to inspire confidence in others. I would love to have had the opportunity to learn Mandarin Chinese when I was at school, although judging by my earlier attempt, it's perhaps just as well I didn't. I didn't. However, I am delighted that young people in school today are getting this opportunity. One of the highlights of the year for my colleagues in the Department of Education has been the honour of judging the poster competition, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity to comment on this. Each year highlights the high standard of the entries from pupils in all our schools. 
Last year alone, I understand there were in excess of 6,000 posters. This is a testament to the links that Confucius Institute has established with schools who are part of the classroom project. The ongoing health pandemic means the schools have had to move to online learning. One of the casualties of this is that sadly the poster competition has been postponed until the 26th of February. I understand that the winners will be decided in early March and I know that my colleagues are looking forward to being part of the judging panel again. I wish all the candidates good luck with their posters. For those of you who are not already aware, over the last six years, the Department of Education has provided funding to the Confucius Institute to support the delivery in lessons in Chinese language and culture across schools in Northern Ireland. This year, 160 schools and over 20,000 pupils are participating in the project. These are impressive figures, which show how well the programme is being received by both students and schools. Young people who have a second language are, huge, are at a huge advantage in life. It opens doors to new friendships, particularly with an increasing online world. Research has also shown that language learning can boost memory, improve listening and cognitive skills, and will even make you more effective at multitasking. Mandarin Chinese is of course the most widely spoken language in the world and of massive importance in business and commerce. If you learn to speak Mandarin, you can speak with millions of people around the world. I know that due to the ongoing COVID pandemic, this has been a difficult year for everyone, but I'm proud that young people have this opportunity in our schools. I'm sure that those pupils who are studying Mandarin currently are anxious to resume their lessons, and I wish them well in this. On behalf of the Department of Education, I would like to thank the Confucius Institute for its efforts in delivering the project over this past year. You provided new opportunities to broaden the horizons of so many young people, including those online with us today. I also wish to pay tribute on behalf of the department to our school leaders who provided the opportunity for so many young people to learn Mandarin. Finally, I hope you enjoy the rest of this online event and thank you. One Sha Hao. Sam, thank you very much indeed. The city of Newry and its environs have been connected with the Confucius Network for some years now, and we're delighted to have with us today the chairperson of Newry Morning Down Council, Councillor Laura Devlin. As chairperson of Newry Morning and Down District Council, I am delighted to support the 2021 Chinese New Year, a fantastic virtual event of celebrations through song, dance and music, complemented by beautiful cultural displays. This year we had hoped that our celebrations would have been in person. However, as we celebrate now the beginning of the year of Ox, we can only look ahead with positivity um, as the year of the Ox symbolises the hard work, positivity and honesty that will be manifested in all of us in the coming 12 months. This symbolism indicates that 2021 will be a period of success in business, prosperity and wellness. These are all qualities that we will look forward to and hope to enjoy in the coming year. Our council have been building and growing our relationship with China and our strong connections with the Consul General Madame Yong, the Confucius Institute at the University of Ulster and the Northern Ireland Bureau in China have been critical to uh, enabling and supporting this uh, relationship. 2020, as we know, was a very difficult year. And as we move ahead into 2021, we'll be working closely with our partners to seek alternative and more digital platforms to ensure that we can progress and enable mutually beneficial exchanges in trade, tourism and skills. Chinese New Year is the most important holiday in China and the New Year is marked with a period of celebration events. Newry Morn and Down District Council have just yesterday launched a series of virtual events that will celebrate the culture of China in an online Chinese New Year celebration. 
The festival will be a sensory experience of activities through music, movement, arts, food and the natural world, celebrating Chinese culture and the human spirit of the strength of togetherness as we all navigate through these really challenging times. The Chinese New Year is certainly an exciting period full of hope, positivity and energy for the year ahead. I am delighted to have the opportunity to join you today at what is certainly an exciting virtual event hosted by the Confucius Institute at the University of Ulster. Thank you, Xing Xing. Laura, thank you very much indeed. Now to our final performances as we celebrate the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Ox. This is Shaolin 18 Weapons. It's performed by students from Sungshan Shaolin Oshu College. Usually we think of Shaolin weapons in 18 categories. In essence, however, there are far more than 18 kinds of weapons in Shaolin. As Chinese people regard nine as the infinite of the number, the number nine or multiples of nine are often used to describe a multiple of numbers. And our last performance, Tai Ji, is performed by students from Songshan Shaolin Ushu College. Chinese Kung Fu pursues the harmony between humans and nature. The Tai Ji moves explore the connections between humans and the world, highlighting the harmonious coexistence of man and other lives. The eight trigrams of Tai Ji feature continuity, highlighting the combination between the real and the imaginary, the harmony between the soft and the hard. It has a long history and is considered a real treasure of the Chinese nation. It shows both internal and external strength and is deeply rooted in the traditional Chinese culture of Yi and Dao.
小小离家，来习武。师傅遇我，恩如山。一朝一世显真情，轻起武艺放心肝。武林一代代，我辈一茬茬，雏鹰振翅高峰攀。叫一声师傅。泪花绽，四季轮回，风霜染。人已老，鬓已白，力推前浪，到彼岸。Well, thank you so much to all of our wonderful performers today for helping us to celebrate in this very special way, actually, the Chinese New Year, the Year of the Ox. 2020 was such a difficult year for all of us and uh, little respite at the moment, unfortunately. But let's hope that 2021 brings us all much better times. It just remains for me to say to all of you, thank you for joining us. Xia Xia and to wish you all a very happy Chinese New Year. Xin Yan Kweiler. Hello. 今天正值中国农历牛年大年初一，代表中国中标法社总领馆给大家拜年啦！祝大家牛年吉祥，幸福安康，诸事如意。新的一年里，希望各界朋友们继续支持奥斯大学孔子学院。中国总领馆将与各界朋友一起共同努力，共创英国与北爱各领域互利友好合作新篇章。Dear friends, we happen to have the Chinese Lunar New Year on behalf of the Chinese Consulate. May we wish you all a happy, healthy and prosperous Year of the Ox. In the New Year, we hope our all friends in Northern Ireland will continue to support the Confucius Institute of the Ulster University. The Chinese Consulate will work along with Northern Ireland to bring a new chapter to the friendly and mutually beneficial cooperation between China and Northern Ireland. Thank you.
年快乐，拜年了。